the de Kooning put. I'm going to try and explain it. A put is a financial instrument that allows you to fix the price of a stock at a given time. So you basically hedge your risk or you fix a certain amount of money that is coming to you or that you pay, one or the other, I guess. In the case of de Kooning, what I discussed yesterday, the issue of surface and line was pivotal in his breakthrough. How he managed to create a picture, a painting, uh, uh, an artwork that was considered to be phenomenal. In my opinion, it has uh, his historical significance. It influenced me. It made me understand how the relationship between line and surface can make a painting work, can make it a good painting. And the put that I call the de Kooning put is that once this is understood, this relationship, you're going to have a good painting no matter what. You're going to have people interested. It's kind of like the golden rule. It's something that uh, uh, we're always trying to discover. It's almost like an alchemy that if you have a, if you understand the uh, uh, relationship between certain substances, certain energies, you can make use of that energy. And in the case of de Kooning, he made use of it by, uh, through, I guess, his own experimentation. He came, it's almost like uh, maybe he had an epiphany of some sort, where he understood how to make a painting very exciting by the uh, relationship he created w with his surface and the line in that surface. And uh, so the, the Kooning put is a guarantee. This particular exp explanation flies actually in the face of the idea of subject in a painting. And uh, uh, as, uh, as per this explanation, you can see that subject is quite irrelevant. Uh, once this, this, this task is mastered, it becomes virtually superfluous what it is that you're looking at. Uh, what the story might be, because again, it's your initial contact, your initial response is not to the story, but or let's say the meaning the subject, meaning like uh, where is this guy uh, behind there? Uh, it's like the guy under the umbrella is uh, incidental to the fact. It, it's after the fact. After the fact, you've accepted that the painting is. Is, is, is meaningful to you. Uh, then you begin to, uh, uh, to observe. And I think, uh, people generally make this mistake, uh, always have, uh, people that are basically ignorant about the, uh, uh, the mechanics of, of making, making art. And a lot of people are critics and, uh, they say, I know what I like, uh, re referring to the subject, referring to the story that's being told, uh, you can easily dismiss a story, but you cannot dismiss the uh, very nature, the very substance of that what you're looking at. That's what I'm talking about. So the subject is irrelevant. Uh, of course, I love a good story, so I am uh, I'm going to use subjects. And uh, uh, I, I, if that helps, I mean, this is... Uh, uh, this is sort of a synopsis. It's like a really encapsulated synopsis of, uh, of, of this art experience.